Oh we use camera of our smartphone, but how does it work? How that small camera does really good photos? Today we will talk about 6 stages camera does before showing you photo. All we know that light is the most important. But what does it mean? It goes throw ends and falls on photo matrix which made from millions of pixels. Each pixel consists of some details, but the most important is photodiode. The task of this thing is to catch photons and transform them to electricity. But how? Photodiode is made from silicon, and silicon is interesting material. If you give him current it will be sensitive to electromagnetic radiation in the range from 400 to 1100 nanometers. And we are lucky because human eye falls into the same spectrum. But little less we see from 380 to 740 nanometers, but silicon to 1100 nanometers, so it sees the same as we, but a little higher, and this little called infrared radiation. But how does really photodiode work? When photon of light hits it, it emits an electron, and electron goes to potential pit or trap for electrons. But the most important is if we count electrons in trap, we will know how much light fell on pixel, and so we can find brightness of this point. For example, if there are few photons, point will be dark, and if there are many white. And now important for matrix to not lose any photon. The more photons are converted into electrons, the more efficiently the matrix. Three years ago, matrices were not so effective. There were five electrons from ten photons. That is called quantum efficiency, and previously, it was about 50%. But why so few? Mostly because photons do not hit the photodiode. Even in spite of the fact that there is a special micro lens above each pixel, which focuses the light inside the pixel, there are still many photons pretending, lost, or worse, falling into the neighboring pixels, that is why efficiency was low. What can we do? Samsung solved this problem by introducing technology Isocell Plus. It is isolated cell technology. They made walls that separated the pixels from each other. Also, Samsung increased pixels, they even got a little closer to each other, but at the same time, the depth increased and accordingly, its volume, which helped her to increase the capacity of potential pit, increasing dynamic range. Everything from that helped to increase the fraction of working photons, and quantum efficiency increased to 120%. This means that one photon pushes out more than one electron. And from that highlight sensitivity of matrices with this technology. Then stage number two. Electrons got to trips, so we need count them and digitize them to get raw data. Then we need to process photo. This stage called debayering. We remember that the silicon reacts on a large enough spectrum, however it does not know what color it sees, so to get color picture we need matrix of color filters. The most popular is RGB, where for one blue and one red sectors, there are two green sectors. But problem is that we got colorized mosaic draw image, and to do normal color photo we need to fill empty spaces and do it in all channels in red, green, blue. For example, one algorithm averages the value of neighboring pixels, which have data. And that is called debayering. Some time ago debayering was pretty easy. But after the advent of ISOCELL and other technologies, companies learned how to do very small pixels with size smaller than 1 micron and unite them in groups of 4 pixels. Such matrices call tetracell or even nonacell, if in group or 9 pixels under one color filter. This made possible to combine pixels into super pixels in low light and shoot at full resolution in good lightning using debayering. Then we need HDR algorithms to increase the dynamic range and reduce noise. But we have two options stacking and bracketing. Stacking is when smartphone does many photos and average them, but there are many noises in shadow. Bracketing is when smartphone does three photos normal, overexposed, darkened and then you can choose optimal for you lighting settings. Then there is neural processing. We need this to camera to know which object is in the photo to do camera settings for these scene. And then phone save image and photo is ready.